Hey everyone, let me get Facebook stream going live. It takes just one moment. And then we will get started with episode 7 of Uncelestial's Pleasure Dome's run through Nintendo Power's Top 30. Ah, Facebook is ready. Let's go. Okay. Hey everyone, uh, it's been a little while. So. Um, this is episode 7 of Uncelestial's Pleasure Dome. We want to be looking at the slideshow. Yes. It's because what we're doing is actually cracking open this old magazine from July of 1988, which of course was the first issue of Nintendo Power. And, uh, very special issue to me. I, uh, still remember getting this thing in the mail. Um, the, uh, slideshow isn't running, but normally you would see it cycle to the other items here, uh, one of them being the top 30 page, A. Is it gonna start? Well, that's okay. Um, I can tell you now, the top 30 is, uh, is pretty low vote counts because it's the first issue. Handful of votes on every game. Um, and we're only on episode seven. Um, so that means we're on the, whatever that is, 23rd most popular game. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just make this so that it's uh, only the top 30 and then we'll at least get to see that. So minus that, minus Oops, minus that, minus that, and we'll just add the top 30. All right, now you can at least see that, right? Okay, so this is the list we're working on, um, and then we'll go on to the next issue. We've already played through Rygar, Ring King, Gradius, Section Z, Renegade, and Mario Brothers, and we took... Ring King, Gradius, Section Z, and Renegade all the way to the end, saw so endings. I have no idea if we're going to do that with today's game, which is a pool game called Side Pocket. But if somehow my skills aren't up to the task, and often they aren't, because who could be good at every single one of these games, um, I will do whatever is necessary to keep things moving. And that includes save states, that includes uh, using cheats. I'm shameless, uh, and content tourism is important. The other thing is I'll be telling dad jokes uh, once every hour. Um, I'm going to play a little bit before I get into the dad joke today. It's just, it'll be more fun to break things up that way. Um, so, here we go. Side pocket. Um, the only other thing I have to say about this is yesterday we played on the Switch. Uh, because it was the launch of Nintendo's uh, online service for the first day. And that packages a lot of Switch games. Uh, or, so or sorry, NES games into the Switch. I'm going to be going back to my emulator today. I just think it looks better. And um, you get to see my gamepad activity. Um, but, you know, get in touch with me in the future if you want to play on Switch's online service. Because that aspect of it was kind of fun. Um, the next game that's on the list now is actually Ghosts and Goblins. Um, but baseball, after that, is a two-player game. So, potentially, on next Tuesday's broadcast, we could play baseball together online for all the viewers. Okay, so we're back on the PC emulator today. It's all loaded and ready to play Side Pocket. That grand old classic, which I never freaking heard of um, until today. Or, sorry, until this list. I, you know. So, uh, I guess it's by Data East. I've never even booted the game before. Like, I, I'm just going in fresh. We're going to discover this shit together. Let's start with pocket training game. Oh shit. So somehow 
This is a Ness pool game. Kind of looks like The Legend of Zelda item screen. Uh, this is a pool game that got ten, ten people to vote for it as their favorite in 1988 and went into power. Looks like uh, aiming Q. You can see center, min, and max. So we usually kind of want to hit this slightly at an angle, but not a huge angle. that did. Okay, that switched the view. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do maximum power. Is this where I set the center? Okay. Hey, oh my god, this is gonna be a terrible episode. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make sure that volume uh, of the game isn't too loud and y'all can hear me really quick. Just down a little, buddy. Okay. There we go. That looks like a better... So, I'm guessing that flashing star means if I sink it there, I get a sweet bonus. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. Trick! You go on a trick, motherfucker. I'm a pimp. It better have my money. Alright, so. And we're just rolling. Ah, the trick is over there now. I don't see a super easy path to get to it. Try like that, you know. That was a uh, total waste of time. And have any of y'all ever played Lunar Pool? Because that was like. I could play that. That's my favorite pool game, actually. Oh, get in there, you little bee. So, what I'm curious about is how. How does one. Hitting start here. Hitting select. I'm not sure how one puts spin on it. I'm gonna try to get it in the side pocket. Maybe while this is going. No. 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 Didn't get it in the side pocket. I'm set up well for this trick. It feels... Oh, it's over. Okay, that's alright. Something like that. Don't need a lot of power. Bam. Something here. Maybe if I graze it just right. Something like that. Also don't need a lot of power. Gonna do like that. Oh! Ugh. Okay. Damn. Alright. Apparently I'm gonna need to be more aggressive if I'm uh, banking off the side of the ball. Because it does not think I'm doing shit. I have to get it in the side pocket, huh? Is that why we have the game name this way? That would at least scratch my ball in a way that looks like a side pocket. In order to get it to hit that way, I'm gonna have to hit the ball a little bit like that. I'm gonna try it. Oh! see it looks like I have um, two more shots without sinking one before it's like game over. I believe that's what those cue balls on the top left are trying to tell me. This is a no-win situation. 
I'm almost certainly going to scratch in the top right, but let's see what happens. I gotta get the ball moving towards that side pocket. Oh! <laughs> uh. That's right. Snappy music. Shit, you get points for sequencing. What the fuck am I looking at? No, 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 no. And then... What look like light bulbs. So I gotta get it in either the side... Well, maybe I can get this in the side. If I just lightly graze it like that. Is that instant loss? Yeah, that's instant loss. Woo! What's up, girl? Heard you was a trick. Okay, so. Wow. It looks like the physics of handling that really taxed the Nintendo for a second. Uh, let's see, that looks like a pretty straight shot. Maybe I can get a sequence going here. Nope. <laughs> oh god. To be honest, this is about how good I am at pool in real life. Mmm. That looks good. That looks good to me. I don't know what to say. There's no possible way to get into that side pocket, so I'm gonna just pretend that ain't there. Maybe if I hit it just like that, I can get this. I can get number two in. Mm. This is getting dire. Alright. I was too aggressive, but I'm gonna try this. Too aggressive with my aiming. There it is. That was more diagonal in the result. So, man, that side pocket ain't gonna happen. That was a two, three ain't gonna happen. If I can hit this five and it goes straight, it needs to hit the six a little bit from the top so the six goes down. So I'm gonna hit the five from the bottom so it goes up which will bump the six down. So something like that. Not too much power. Look at that. I called that shit. Fortunately, still not in sequence. Gonna hit the five a little bit off center so it goes down. Not too much power. Just like that. Now that, I could potentially do. I don't think I have to adjust this much. I think if I hit it dead on, it'll pretty much land in there. What do you think? Let's try it. Uh. Okay. I can't get that side, that corner pocket. Hey, Rob. Hey, I missed your note about the the uh, artwork about the continuing saga uh, from yesterday's game. Sorry about that. I shall have to look that up. I don't even know what to do in this situation. I'm gonna try to hit it off center, but not greatly so. Shh. I should have done greatly so. I'm gonna assume eight ball rules and not go after that guy. But this is side pocket. I think that was in the middle of a balloon fight. Yes. Do you have a switch, Rob? Shh, 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 shh. 
<laughs> I don't know about athlete. Endurance. That's what that's what I got going for me. I may not be Michael Jordan, but I can play terrible games for a really long time. I'm starting to get a little fed up with how I can't put any spin on this. Oh, you hold B. Draw. That's how. I see. I don't either. What do you need other people for? They're kind of the worst. Alright, so... If I hit it downward, it should hit the left wall at a pretty horizontal angle, which might be aggressive enough to get into that corner pocket. If I give it a lot of power. So, crazy shot, I'm gonna try it. Not horizontal enough of an angle. Of course, hell with other people. <laughs> Had bad video games and you're not improving the situation much either. Yeah, I was thinking, um, I don't know if you're into the RetroArc, which is what I'm using right now, but uh, totally has a net play in it. Free to use, lots of options. Um, let's see here. Hell, I don't know. I'm gonna just whack the shit out of it. How about that? Oh, I can see uh, my lives are running out on the top left there. Last life. Oh. Secret of Mana, huh? I've never played that through. I have it on the SNES Classic. Get in there! Well, I think that's game over. That's how it is. Regret your lost chance. I wish I could have had more time to read that. Alright. Let's try nine ball game. <laughs> Dude, Data, A Data East had terrible translation. I remember that from Bad Dudes. Player one and two. Oops. I might need to reset it. Okay. I see. Those are, yeah, one and two are two player. Let's see their training mode. Maybe there's something about this that I need to know. Follow. Computer example. Ah. So, hopefully the idea is that your ball keeps rolling. This is actually teaching me actual pool. So, the ball keeps rolling and that way you can get two to go into the same hole. Get after it. Amazing! I can play pool in real life now. I, f I honestly feel this. Impress, impress drunken idiots. Alright, here we go. Get after it. Surely the effect is not that dramatic in real life. Maybe it is, I don't know. How is Fava going to help me here? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I should totally like, okay, and now to the real pool table. Am I an idiot? I guess I have to just like, do like that and follow. Except at sort of an angle, since that line isn't going straight through. Maybe something like that. Nope. 
That was very bad. Oh. Uh, that last one was way over my head. I thought I was doing good. Draw. Way dramatized, but I'm sure something like that sort of happened. So, I guess the idea is you bounce off of this and hopefully drift over to the other one. Oh, please. But okay, I'll take it. Thank you, computer. That was fucking ridiculous looking. I think the green line, I guess, is trying to tell you <laughs> something, but I, or the green dot, but I don't know what. Maybe I could hit this one and, and it would draw backwards to the yellow? Dude, I don't even know. I'm gonna try it now. Yeah, it's drawing back, but I missed it. Here's the answer. What? There's no fucking way. Maybe like this. It stopped dead in its tracks. That's pool does not. What the hell? Pool does not work like that. Surely not. Computer example. So I can I can hit it on the right, and it's literally going to bounce at a like 45 degree angle. If I just hit against this wall, okay. I missed though. I know the answer. You showed it. All right. All right. Can I not aim directly in the thing? Okay. So if I'm about to bounce off to the right, what do I do? Hit this and it dramatically goes this way? Maybe? Dude, it's like some, it's like someone's using a force or something and making the ball go. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty close for a ridiculous angle, but okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I get it. Straight 45 degree. So, in this case... Leave it where it's aiming? No, that was too optimistic. <laughs> okay. Well, I think left kind of doesn't really need to happen, nor does center. I think we kind of know what's going on there. So can I... I guess I gotta reset. Not the greatest UI design. But, alright, what have we learned? We've learned the trick shots. I'm in city class right now. Okay, let's challenge. <laughs> let's challenge, let's do that. So we've learned the trick shots and we've learned how to aim by doing this, holding B. I 
think I just want to hit the cue ball dead center. I, when, when they're racked up, the cue ball should hit the very center, right? Alright, so, okay, there's a trick shot on the thing. I don't see any great scoring opportunities right now. I think hitting that dead on wouldn't quite go in, so I'm gonna go like that. Not so much power. Alright. Okay. Now, I think I can use the draw to keep from following that ball into the pocket. So I'm gonna do like this. And hit it at half power. What? <laughs> that was, yeah. I mean, again, that's like using the force. So, like, no. No, I mean, I'm thinking this side pocket one is probably a better bet. Or, no, that's a better bet. Because I can go pretty straight on. A little high. Right. Yes. Yes, sir. All right, really quickly, we need to get into the, just really quickly, uh, I didn't tell the dad joke yet for today. Um, right, I'll call you later. Please don't do that. I've always asked you to call me dad. Anyway, that was terrible. I think I need a drink after that. Mmm. Why is Maker's Mark so damn good? Okay. I've had a long Wednesday. Let's get back to the game. Suddenly this is all so much clearer. No, not really. So I think if I graze this, it will go downward pretty well. Not grazing enough. Oh, I can get that trick shot. I'm about a second away from trying the cheats. I'm gonna try this table honestly first. No, nope. now I'm getting irritated. Let's see what kind of cheats we have. Oops. Load cheat file. We're on Nintendo Entertainment System. We're on side pocket. If anybody bothered. Trying to hack this thing, I'd be surprised. No, nope, they didn't. <laughs> Sorry, you're stuck with what I can do. I think the save stating approach would get a little tedious to watch. I think if I just hit this really hard, it'll either go in the bottom or top, so I'm gonna just do that. We're in the bottom. I don't think I can really get anything in that side, the side pocket is flashing, so I'm going to just go after this guy. Not too much power. Thank you, sir. Need to hit it with a little up angle. Something like that. Goes. That's a pretty brutal angle, but I'm gonna try to do it. 
Not aggressive enough. Guess I could go like this. Which would give it a better shot at hitting the top left corner. So let's try that. Oh, that would have been cool. Mmm. Alright, it needs to go down a little way, so I'm gonna angle it like that. There it is. Thank you so much. Cool. Bonus shot player. Well, this is a lot easier than the last one. Shot. It is a shot. You're right, game. Excellent. Hey, girl. I guess he's giving her. Is he ordering a drink? Alright, this is where things went wrong last time. I'm gonna follow and just break things up even more. Ooh. Make a shot, take a shot. Here we're Friday. What the fuck was that? Okay. Apparently I can jump the ball over. But I'm just doing follow. So. Wow, follow doesn't do shit when you're trying to break. I guess sender probably concentrates the power more. Which is what you want. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, act like I'm still on the break, really, because this is all quite clustered. Hey, nice, I'm sinking him. Oh, I just realized that green dot is like the green dot on a pool table. Right on. Like, you can't, if you scratch, you can't uh, shoot from beyond that line. Okay. Still kind of think scratch or breaking is a good idea, so I'm gonna do it. Right. That was a shitty break, but it's kind of working in my favor, so. Bam. Maybe dead on. Maybe a little downward angle. Alright. Should have had even more downward angle. Okay. Not too much power. Yes! I think this will probably be once I game over on this. I think we've explored Side Pocket. Personally. Uh. It's a good way to get out of this situation. This is probably the better shot right now. If I just angle it a little like that, I need a lot of power. Oh! What a shame to miss that. I would only die of alcohol poisoning if I was actually sinking all these. <laughs> 
Last shot. Ooh! I'm still alive! I think every shot has to be... has to sink one now, so... That looks good. Let's try it. Yes! Thank you. I'm thinking top left pocket. I think I want to bank off of it to get the best angle. And I might even want to, like, say... Like if I went here and did a left, that would give it a more vertical angle. So let's try it. <laughs> what? That's, I was about to feel so cool and now I feel so shit. Challenge next, regret your lost chance. Oh. Well, folks, I think we've kind of seen what Side Pocket has to offer the world. Um, if we look at the slideshow again, I mean, you can see this thing got uh, 10, 10 people to vouch for it in 1988. Convincing 10 people to do anything in 1988 was probably pretty easy, I mean... We elected George Bush that year, so um, I can't really say that was a quality gaming experience, but for a NES simulation of pool, it at least had uh, knocking the ball off the table and putting some spin on it, um, uh, and a couple little meta games with the trick shots and um, bonus shots and so forth. All in all, it's probably on the upper end of pool simulations for the era, so it's got that going for it, but something that's simple, uh, nowadays it would just be a physics in the box type game, if you throw havoc at it, it'd probably be perfectly simulated, so it has not aged well, I have to say. Highlight for me there was uh, the English, so to speak, the bad English translation. Um, Okay, well, they can't all be winners, and that one wasn't, but there it was. We got a good taste of Side Pocket, the, 24, the 24th best Nintendo game, according to Nintendo Power, in July of 1988. Tomorrow, we will be playing Ghosts and Goblins at 11 p.m. West Coast time. I'll be telling more jokes, I'll be drinking more whiskey, and uh, Gus and Goblins, I intend to play all the way to the end. Either through hook or crook, we're going to see the ending of that game tomorrow. So, um, strap in, that'll be a much better episode. But hey, we got some cover, we, we know what side pocket is now, right? Um, okay, until tomorrow guys, this is Uncelestial, wishing you good night. I will need cheats. Ghosts and Goblins is fucking brutal.